So it's inspired by one of the oceans, one that goes in the dark. Yeah. We also take inspiration from the waves that crash into a rock when you're sitting at the beach. That's what the edible cloud in the top represents. It has Asiana on the ice ball. <laughs> My beautiful wife. Her birthday. I'm celebrating this wonderful woman. Oh, yeah. Oh. Relax. Let us take you on a journey of tales and travels drawn from you. Did you have the first dish of the night? Chef Grégoire likes to call this dish the slap of the sea. <laughs> Let's try. Oh yeah, you could tell, yeah. Good? Yeah, very good. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Cheers. Now, on the best course, I will recommend that we start with the illusion of the tomatoes at the very front. Now, as the name suggests, it is a complete illusion. The stem of the tomato will also be edible, it's been cut, which in turn will be very refreshing. And lastly, that's us, king and queen. A little difficult for him because he also had to say his farewell to the sea that he had grown up watching and loving. So, welcome Second edible candy this evening as well. In between sips, I mean, I also recommend that you enjoy the textures of the mushroom. At the very taken another one from Britain. We've taken the Britain little bit of beef chorizo that we've pureed with. Uh, I hope you like shots actually. This comes from Nepal. Tequila me. Uh, it's tequila. <laughs> Pick up in New York. <laughs> so actually we start with the soap, then mm -hmm. with tequila and finish with the lime. Alright. All right. Cheers. 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 Okay. Ready? Oh, that's what he's... Look at this. We are going to eat this candle for dinner. That's a first. <laughs> yes. It is definitely a first. Is it a bit of foie gras that we've made for you? Oh. Since we realized that from the flavored with yuzu, charcoal, and green apple, it will be slightly citrusy, smoky, and sweet. I recommend mm -hmm. Alright, what's going on here? A three digit code. Right here. Now this. Okay. Ready? Open it. Oh, I'm gonna grab it. Ooh, it's like a sea urchin. We've prepared some sea urchins for you. Mm. At the very bottom of this, you will find the uni itself. Oh. I mean, this, this is like really good. Sea urchin, uni. But this fish, the main course, the red mullet that we made for you, it is not entirely cooked yet because we will cook it in front of you as we speak. Now, the very. We'll just agitate it a little bit. What? Mm. Now what happens when we agitate it is essentially is that it forms into crystal. Mm. You can hold it. Oh my god, it's yeah. warm. Yeah. It'll start heat heating up. Oh now. wow. The garnish, we have some summer flowers, which we've made out of potato crisps. At the very So that's a whole block of Himalayan salt? Yes, sir. Wow. Two green olives. The exterior of this we flavored with makame. Inside you'll find some sheep's milk ice cream as well. Above that, the two black olives, or rather, they're one by one, uh, one at a time individually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Message in a bottle for the birthday, birthday candle, and then we have the final chapter. Now, wow. onto this. <laughs> There's a little message in the bottle. What does it say? 
this happy birthday. I mean, be filled with laughter and love. No. <laughs> And there's um, pastry here, here, okay. and ginger. Um, I'm going to do the coconut first. Mm. Good? Very good. It's very light. You got a lot going on here. Look, 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 look. 